what's going on guys welcome back to another video of bad life and today we will commence getting work done to Assad's e36 m3 We got a nice RTD black body shifter with the black knob. So we got that to install on the DSSI. Let's get started. What's up everybody? So we had to take out some stuff, take out these clips, all the, the buttons you see up there. And right now Felix is working on uh, Taking off the cross member, taking off what else? Assembly. I'm trying to get this assembly out. So we this can whole shift arm assembly. And then we gotta throw in this DSSR right here. So yeah. Well right now as you can see there's one hole here and two holes here for the RTB to sit. Like this. It's hard to show. Because all this wiring and all that. But yeah, there's gonna be one one bolt there and one bolt on the other side. And then it sit like this. I approve. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably a lot better than the stock shifter. It's really notchy too. Yeah. It looks really good. easy to shift. It I like the good. black body a lot. What do you think? I think it goes it goes well with the car to be honest. Alright, so we removed this from the car. So this is where the stock shifter sits. We'll we'll show you right. So this sits in here like so. Kind of like that. This sits in a bushing mounted to the body. This sits mounted to the transmission. And then we have, this is the shifter rod that sits in this, the bottom of the shifter. And this sits on the, uh, on that pivot pin on the transmission that helps you shift, that helps you select the gear. So this is the selector rod. Basically, I already explained this in the manual swap video, but there's a lot of play on all these bushings and it allows you to smoothly shift, um, you know, it's just easy for everyday shifting. We took this whole assembly out and replaced it with just a selector rod, a dual, uh, a double-sided selector rod. So it's it's more stiff. And then we mounted the RTD to the, or well, the selector rod to the transmission, to that pivot pin that selects gears. And then we have right here, we mounted the other side of the selector rod to the RTD shifter. So if you have a manual car, they come with holes already in the body here. The RTD kit comes with actually these bolts right here. And what you're gonna do is you, uh, bring it in. You're gonna put the bolt, the lock washer, and then a washer into the body first. And then somebody has to be under the car to thread. There's a 13 millimeter nut on the other end of this. And this was a six millimeter Allen. All right, so we got the comparison of the new Grebo. As you guys can see, no cracks, brand new, tight new fresh rubber made in germany that's all we do here and we got the old one this is a sign of a guibo that needs to be replaced so look at all those cracks in the middle on the outside all of that all of these cause vibrations when the drive shaft spins so if you can really cheap just get an oem one Let me see this. Hi. Oh. we're gonna be rolling and pulling sa's rear quarter panel here, like the rear fenders, rear arches, uh, because this wheel is actually probably really bad. So, we decided to pull the trigger on a Schwaben roller kit from ECS Tuning and their heat gun that comes with the kit. It's also going to help us remove this so this is not scraping and cutting up its tire and destroying its car. I think we clearance it a Let's little. Let's go. A little? Yeah. What do you mean a little, bro? I couldn't fit my finger last time. Oh. So we just did a little bit of everything here. Earlier, I couldn't even fit my finger in there, but now, as you can see, it's, it's better. I don't know. We're about to go to go for a test drive, but you can see 
how much of the tire it, it took off. I'm taking the car out of the driveway. Right here we're screaming OD. Oh look at the look at the jack. Still under the open. Rookie mistake. Jack thing still under the what? Oh yes. So what are you doing right now, please? I'm trying to adjust the kit, man. I gotta loosen these locks. Balls and lock hands, but amount of space you have? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh! Don't give me that, don't give me that. Bro, it's better, because when, when it drops, it's gonna camber more. Oh my, you're walling. Yo, yo, put it back, put it back a little. Yeah. Bro, that's all. Ash on camber, okay? So basically, the so. more angle you have, the bigger. We got some bad news. Tried to dial in the rear fitment, but these tires are just way too big and as coilovers don't allow enough travel upwards um, to raise it, so it's rubbing on both sides. We thought maybe we can add some camber or something to alleviate the, uh, the rubbing, but not possible. But you got some new tires on the way. They are a lot uh, smaller than these. They should fit. In theory, they should fit. So right now, what I'm gonna do, fix the camber in the rear. So I'm gonna uh, make it go back to what we had it set at before when he had the apex wheels on. Put some, uh, we have some DS2s in there. The DS2 should clear. Um, so we're just gonna throw that on for, in the meantime, he's gonna come pick up the car. All right guys, so. This car has adjustable rear control arms. As you can see right there and mounts right there. So this is how I adjusted the camber on this car. clip um, these were too big the ones that we had before were too big these are a little slimmer and uh, we're gonna see if this clears yes all right so we finally got this done um, as you can see it clears there's no scraping so that's awesome that's exactly what we were looking for so we got right here too this no scrape either so i would say we're in the clear so rcd shifter so far so good uh no complaints about that and she help all the you know all the support from the views all the comments uh if you guys like the video uh leave a like uh, if you guys dislike the video leave a dislike let us know why um you dislike the video or anything that we can improve on uh it would be great if you guys could really subscribe i see like a lot of the people that um watch the videos don't uh, aren't subscribed so like 90% of our viewers aren't subscribed so if you guys can please click the subscribe button it helps a bunch that's it right have a life out